Hi, computer science students. Your homework assignment now is to make a, a special kind of an object called a bag. Yours is going to be a letter bag, and I'm going to show you here how it's going to work. So the idea of a bag is that you can add a bunch of items to your bag. So in this case, I'm adding letters. You can see I'm adding A three times and E four times and then some other letters. OK, so this sort of looks like it's going to be a list of some kind, but a bag doesn't actually have an intrinsic ordering to it. So you're not saying, like, this is the fourth thing in the list. Instead, what a bag does is it provides a bunch of methods that will let you ask statistical questions about what's been added to the bag so far. So for example, if I add all of these letters, then afterwards you can ask the bag, what are the total number, well, so I'm saying words here, but what are the total number of letters that I've added? And the answer should be 12, because I added 3, and then 4, and then 5. And so altogether, that's 12. Then you can ask it how many unique words got added. So unique words are how many letters that are actually different from each other. So here, these three would only count as one unique letter because it's A. So the number of unique letters should be one for A, one for E, and then one for X, and then three more. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be six unique letters. Then you can ask it how many times a particular letter occurred. So if I ask uh, get number of occurrences for A, that should return 3. If I say get number of occurrences for E, that should return 4. You can ask it for the most frequently occurring thing that got added. So in this case, it would give back E because E happened the most often. Um, a more advanced method that's a little bit harder to think about how to implement is what if you want to return an array with the N most frequently occurring things um, and you give it the N. So if I say, give me the two most frequently occurring things, it will give back E and A. If I ask it for the three most frequently occurring things, it would give back A, E, and then X. If I ask it for the four most frequently occurring things, now there's sort of a tie for last place. Um, and so you, it could return any of those. It's not specified, so long as it returns one of them. OK, so here's what it looks like when I so I run it, it says there's 12 items, there's six unique items, A occurred three times, which is correct. Uh, the most frequently occurring thing is E, and then the top, well, I said top two, but I changed this number here to four. Let's change it back to two. So if it's two, it gives me an array that's E and A. If I say three, it gives me an array that's E, A, X. So that's your task. Um, if you feel like you need a little guidance, check out the next video where I'll at least just